What's up, Jets fans? Welcome to another session of the same old shit. Like I was saying last night, no matter who's under that helmet, just can't get it done, man. And I am serious. I'm a firm believer on this team being cursed. There's no other way to put it. There's no other thought process to, to try to conceive why this team is every year the same goddamn bullshit. The same outcome. No playoffs. Season's over before Halloween. That's pretty scary, right? I had a friend ask me what I was going to be for Halloween and shit. And I told her, I was like, I'm going to be a Jets fan. And she was like, oh, that's the scariest costume of the year. Yo, I am not lying, bro. And um, unfortunately, it's a costume that we wear every year. <laughs> Scarier than Terrifier shit. You feel me? If you've ever seen Terrifier, you know what I'm talking about. That motherfucking movie's crazy. But that, that movie ain't got shit on this team right here because this is a scary motherfucker. Scariest team in the world, man. You either got the Jets or the Browns trying to fight for the worst team in the league, man. Seriously. Or the Carolina Panthers. But the Jets are always in the top five runnings of the worst team in the league every year. Doesn't matter if you got Aaron Rodgers. It doesn't matter if you got goddamn uh, Brett Favre. It doesn't matter if you got Chad Pennington. It doesn't matter if you got Devontae Adams. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, man. Because as soon as they suit up under that Jets helmet... It's a wrap. They forget how to play. They're going in the wrong direction every time. Then we make create films for follies, football follies and shit like that. That's what happens when they suit up under a Jets helmet, bro. Tell me if I'm wrong, man. Because as soon as they leave, Sam Darnold out there performing, doing his job as a real quarterback now. Geno Smith out there performing, doing his job as a quarterback. Soon as the uh, soon as players leave this organization, they become good football players. As soon as they come this way, like Aaron Rodgers, welcome to the curse, my friend. Because there is some kind of bad stigma about this team, man. Doesn't matter who's under that helmet. The organization is just a, a, a jinx. It's a mess every year. But we look good in off season, right? Every year, man. That's why this time, <laughs> I know I said this last year, but this time though, I'm not falling for the shit. <laughs> but yeah, wait again until the, watch, watch what happens. Off season a hit, then we get all these like, uh, we, we get all the attention. We're all up on ESPN. Uh oh, the Jets made a, a very, a very lucrative move for this player and this player. Uh oh, woo, then, and then we're the talk of the town. In the offseason, as soon as we step on that field, though, week one, it's a whole different situation. And that's why I'm saying I'm tired of it, man. And I know all Jets fans are tired of this shit. But we are long-time loyal, suffering fans. And we keep going back for more. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to think that I'm a, I, I'm a glutton for pain. <laughs> Just like every other Jet fan, I'm sure they feel the same way. Because every year, man, it doesn't matter. They, we, just, we just fall for the same okie doke every year and find out that we won't make the playoffs yet again. So with that being said, Jets fans, here we are on this blue-ass Monday. <laughs> Feels like I'm in a fucking hamster wheel cage. Just, just repetitive, just the same shit, just... Running around in that damn wheel just to say the same shit every week. Let me know what you think in the comments below, man. It's your boy. Flying till the fucking wings fall off and they've already fell off. So get ready for that spiral crash down landing, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments below, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Mad love to y'all. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And I'll be in touch soon. One love, y'all.